ETH, we start with one hour chart. First of all, if we refer to our analysis in my last video, when the price was within this move, we get this move for buy. Then after that, we give update that we mentioned we want to see the breakout of 2465. Because we mentioned if the price cannot break this zone, we can expect the price to drop. And we mentioned we can look for this flat. As we can see, the price exactly take and start to drop. Okay, now we want to see what's the next. Whether this is the flat and the, this is the one is going to retest the previous low, or we can put this one as a flat in relative to this for one move up. Okay, now we want to see how we can look for trade. In this case, we start with daily chart. We start with higher time frame. Most of the chart, they have a similar movements. And if we move to daily chart, we can expect the price to consolidate here for longer time. Since what we get here, the drop was really sharp. Okay, now the thing is whether we can expect to get the flat for drop. That's mean we can expect the price to break the previous low or not. Right now, we cannot confirm for that. We want to see the price drop some more with the retest of the previous low then if we get any reversal this is for long term we can look for buy okay now we want to see how we can look for trade if we move to forward chart the only thing is we want to see whether still we are within this flat or not that's why if the price can retest the previous low it can give us better confirmation for the reversal but right now we want to see whether still we are within this flat or this is a correction in relative to this as I say, most of the charts, they have a similar movement. Now, we don't care about that. This is just a bigger picture. And if you want to look for trade, if you move to one hour chart, as I mentioned, based on one hour chart, right now we can look at this in two ways, okay? Either this is the flat and this is the, the price can retest the previous low. If this happened mostly, we can get the better di divergence and then any reversal from there we can look for buy. It doesn't mean the price after the tag this low, we can look for buy. We want the price to tag, break. We want to see how deep it can go before we take the reversal. Or this is the flat in relative to this. That means we can expect to get one more with the breakout of desktop before price drop. Now we want to see how we can look for trade. This is the way we can look at this one. And right now, if we want to look for trade, we have to get the correction here. Because the way is dropping is really sharp. Even right now, we cannot look for sell. Even if we want to look for sell, we need to get the correction here to confirm the trade setup for continuation. But even if we get the correction, if we want to look for trade, we should know we need to put our entry above the top in terms of the risk and reward. Does it give us a really good trade setup or not? I don't think it's a really good trade setup to look for. Okay, then. If the price continue, we are not going to take the trade. If anyone wants to look for sell, we need to get the correction here before we take the sell. At least flag for sell setup. But besides that, if you put our FIB here, almost price drop to 60 or 61% of this move. Okay, now the thing is whether the price can retest the previous low or give us a reversal. If we get any sharp move with the flag, we can take the trade with the breakout of the stop as well. That's mean right now we cannot look for either buy or sell, okay? That's mean we should wait for the correction before we take the trade. But the way it's dropping is really sharp. We can expect the price to retest the previous low because we can look at this one as flat. And this is the best. If the price break, then from there we can look for buy. This is what we prefer. We prefer to buy after the price retest the previous low rather than the reversal from here. And as I see, we don't have any trade setup and the price almost at a 61%. And the thing is we wait for the correction from here. Then from there, we make a decision whether we should look for buy or not. Because even if there is a reversal we, with the flag, we can take the trade because already we have this flat relative to this. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update or trade setup, I will share. Thanks.